We're picking this one. Georgia giving three-plus touchdowns on the road at Kentucky, a team that just lost to Vanderbilt. Vanderbilt, and they looked awful. I mean, bottom line is, you know, they already fired Rich Scangarell, their offensive coordinator, who they brought in. Supposedly he wanted this job because he wanted to work with Will Levis, and Will Levis obviously wanted to be in an NFL system. The reality is this has been anything but that. The only thing that UK can hang their hat on is the rushing attack. Chris Rodriguez, since he's gotten back, has been the most consistent piece along with the defense for UK. This, this game was tough for me. Uh, it's a big number, and I didn't want to lay the points. So I went with Kentucky, and I think it's in part because they're playing at home. They will play with some pride. I do think Chris Rodriguez will be able to do enough running the football, but I worry. Like I, I think this is a dicey pick for me. I think at 49 and a half, I actually like the over better. I know we differ on that, Danny, but uh, this was a tough one to pick. I just I don't have much hope based on how Will Levis is playing. I know he's been banged up. But the offensive line gave up four sacks to Vandy? I mean, they've struggled to protect them all year long. I'm guessing nobody's ever lost to Vanderbilt and beaten the number one team in the country in back-to-back weeks. That's, that's a, just a guess. That's a yeah. fair guess. I, I, I haven't asked Justin Page, our researcher, that, but that's a guess. Has anybody lost to Vanderbilt and then gone on to be the number one overall pick in the draft? I don't know if that's mm. happened either. Um, <laughs> it kind of boggles my mind, and that's a whole separate talk about uh, topic about Will Levis. I had trouble with this one, too. The reason I went with the points in Kentucky in the under – is I do think the one bright spot with a Mark Stoops-led team this year is the defense is at least holding its end of the bargain somewhat. And it's got to be tough for them because they're on on the field the whole game. The offense is struggling so much. They're having so many three and outs. They're not able to sustain drives. Other teams are pretty much imposing their will uh, against that Kentucky offense. But I do think the defense could present some problems for this Georgia offense, at least slowing them down somewhat to keep it within that kind of you know three touchdown ish type of game, so I think this one's not clearly not one of our favorite plays for the weekend. I'm on the same side. I think Kentucky. Maybe you get a senior day type of performance. Last hurrah! It's the number one team. You hope there to be some pride. Maybe pull, you know hoping you pull off that upset. But ultimately, I think Georgia will pull away. But I'm very curious to see what Georgia you get. I mean, Georgia's kind of they're already in the playoff essentially. Right. I mean, they can do pretty much anything as long as they don't lose. And gonna, even if they lose, if they, the lose S- and they still win the SEC championship, you're still... Yeah, so I, I just wonder at what point does Kirby try to take out some starters, get guys some rest, you start looking at, you know, potentially for next year, some young players. So all of that kind of comes in the mix for why I have Kentucky. And the under, which is 9-1 and one in Kentucky games this season. That they, defense pretty good. They have not scored as expected run the football. this season. Yeah. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.